With us now is Evan Hirsch and the audience. We have gotten so much fan mail about the segments that we've been doing with Evan, so we had to bring him back on. We adore him. Evan, how are you? I'm good, and can I say I'm honored. Thank you so much. Well, you know, whether it was the upcycling that you did with uh, the messenger bag for me, or the first uh, segment that you did with us when you were showcasing your own fashion, people are like writing me, and I'm like, they're like, we love Evan. I'm like, great, so come on back. So what do you have for us this month, Evan? Well, I always love making things for okay. the show. That's my favorite, and this time, I always keep a tally of who's the first person to do a Christmas anything on TV, and we're going to be the ones this time. I love that. I figured if we're going to make gifts for Christmas, or for any holiday rather, you can start now because we have all this downtime, especially if we're doing a lot of sewing heavy projects like I've done. We could get a move on it no matter what. So I have some fun ideas that the audience at home can try. Um, I have everything here from masks, which I know that some of us are uh, kind of shedding now, but it's, it's kind of a staple and people might be a little more careful or they want to accessorize or they have allergies, so that could be a fun gift. I also have a headband that you could really easily pick up at any craft store and just add on top of it. I have a horsehair braid that I sewed right on top of it. And I also have a little brooch that I made out of little chiffon pieces that I gathered up into little flowers. That's my signature in terms of accessories, and I love doing that. And the grand finale is I made this toiletry bag that I actually embroidered on, and I figured you could get a lot of use out of it. So, oh, Merry Evan, Christmas, <laughs> Happy Holidays. You. This could be for you. Oh, thank you so much. And for more of our sewing heavy advanced pattern makers, you could also make little costumes for your loved ones or little outfits to wear. I actually made this shirt. And there's really limitless possibilities in what you can make. I actually had a fan submission on my Instagram, at Evan underscore Hirsch. His name is Riker from California, and he submitted these amazing paintings that we'll show as well, so. Oh, wow, oh, I see what you're talking about. Very nice, Evan. So, um, so we wanna thank him for his submission, right? Yeah, definitely, and I love hearing from the audience what they can make and create, and it really inspires me to keep going, so I love that. So now this piece, uh, tell me about this piece. So you took some, it looks like, is it chiffon? What is the material? Yeah, it's like an organza. Oh, organza, that's it's the like word. It's like a sparkly okay. organza. I was really inspired by these sheer kind of corset tops. And I really wanted to create something that looks just like that. I had this really pretty lace that I overlaid and it came together really nicely. I still want to make a really cute skirt to go with it, but it's really fun to accessorize and get inspired by a lot of the period pieces. And this sewing I can see is that these are stitches on a traditional sewing machine. You just changed the thread and you made your own pattern. What I love about it is I have a home machine, but it has so many different capabilities that I could do to create these fun patterns. It has limitless possibilities and I just sat there experimenting. And you know I travel quite a bit so this is nice and, I, and now when I travel I'll be thinking of you so thank you for my beautiful well, I'm so gift. glad I hope you um, enjoy it. Yes absolutely and I will be celebrating uh, with you uh, I guess in December. You know it's so funny sometimes Hanukkah aligns with Christmas and sometimes it doesn't. Do you have any idea when it is this year in 2021? I have no idea when it is. I hope it's kind of close because I love getting my gifts the same time as everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. Eight, eight crazy <laughs> nights right? Um, thank you very 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 much. Uh, wishing you continued success. And you know, the nice thing about masks too is that a lot of times people are immune compromised. Yeah. You know, if they're going through cancer treatments or something like that. So wearing something beautiful and festive and fun um, is the way to go for them. So thank you. Some of us are used to it and some of us aren't. So it's something to keep around. I love that. Thank you so much. And hey, I can't stop staring at your shoes. I know. I was just going <laughs> to, do you mind? We should, uh, let's give a shout out and tell us where the, I'm just going to take my shoe right off. <laughs> um, tell us about these shoes. Both of our pairs are from nicepairs.com. So check them out if you really enjoy what you see. <laughs> I like these a lot actually. That I will be wearing these all years. I'm, you know where I'm going to wear these? To my son Andrew's wedding. Did you know that? Yes. yes. I can't wait to see the pictures. So yes, these will be coming with me. Uh, my lucky shoes. So thank you. Nice pairs. See you soon. Be well. Bye.